So, feel sorry for me. I had to buy an SF90 because I have three super fast, 812 super fast, and I have two 812 competitions. Competition, however they say it, because it's my favorite car. Even though it's not per perhaps the best car, it's my favorite car. The best car is 765 LT by McLaren. <laughs> Nothing beats it. Around a track, I don't care what they say, I don't care what track time, I don't care what garbage they put on these YouTube drag races. Trust me, from the man who has 52 cars, nothing is faster than a 765 LT besides a Rimac or a Bugatti in a straight line. On a track, 765 kills them. Trust me, it's that good, it's that fast. Off the line, it has no traction, so everything beats off the line. But in rolling races, it will smoke anything. So anyway... I have 812s, which is my favorite car. It's not the best car, but it's my favorite car because I like the big V12. I like how they built the car around the engine as opposed to make the engine to fit the car. I like that you can put stuff in the back and you can go on a road trip. I love how it sounds amazing. And it actually feels like a small little sports car. It feels like a mid-engine sports car, considering it's such a big car and it's so heavy. They've done amazing things with that. It's actually a miracle. So it's my favorite car. But everyone's saying, no, you should get an SF90 because it has a thousand horsepower. And I was like, it's hybrid, that's gay. I'm not gay, I'm straight. They kept saying, no, you need to try it. It'll be a 765. I said, that's impossible. And then I was bored, so I just bought one. So here we are. Car number 53. <laughs> Let's see what the hype's about. Let's see what the hype's about. I mean, the thing is with me, I buy cars and I don't like them and I never drive them again. The MC20, we just did the review for. I sent it away to get a race exhaust and change some things, take out the OPFs, put a body count on it, and I'm going to review it again. And I'm going to really abuse it and see if I can fall in love with it. Otherwise, it just becomes ornament. If this is no fun today, it becomes an ornament permanently. Plugged in, <laughs> hybrid, me. So uh, it looks good, but uh, nothing's better than McLaren. We're going to see. Let's do it. This is my first time inside of an SF9. Tours should go up. They need to pay Lambo whatever it costs, or McLaren, or whatever copyright they have. Doors should go up. Doors should not go out. Is it comfortable at least? Not really, but I guess that was an option with the seats. You probably could have got comfort seats. This has got the Assetto Foriani something race pack, so it's the raciest one. So we've got these annoying homosexual seat belts and all carbon and it's lighter and the seats are race seat bro i'm happy with a comfort seat to be honest if you're trying to if you're trying to be uncomfortable to save three kilos you're an idiot so whoever spec this car i don't know but it was brand new it was the one that was brand new in the showroom and i ain't got time to waste so i just took it so uh here we are I'm gonna turn it on and see what we can do here we have the secondary screen for the passenger which is kind of i'm not sure i buy all this hybrid crap to me, it just feels like a scam. From automatic down to manual, we're gonna put it here. Down to manual. It just feels like a scam. Like, because it's not real, is it? None of it's real. It's hybrid, but then you press a button and then it's just a normal car. Like, hybrid, why? We're still burning, we still got a V8. <laughs> I mean, what is the advantage of the hybrid? This is what I mean. Where's the electricity in any of this? Where's the hybrid part in any of it? It's all a scam. I don't get it. It's just a V8 Ferrari, isn't it? <laughs> That's what it really is. And then they've added all these batteries and junk. I mean, that looks cool, but what does it really do? So now we're E-Drive. We're gonna use up our last battery. We have only half a battery because of course I didn't charge it. Why the fuck would I charge my car? Because I'm straight. So it's not charged. So we're gonna run out of battery and see what happens. So I understand you can't reverse in this car with no battery because it, the reverse gear is all electric, but I think the, the battery should charge from the engine. So I don't think you ever ever have to actually charge it. But we're gonna see. So we're in electric mode now. My car philosophy is simple. I have 52 cars, and I've bought them all. And uh, they're all a little bit unique. But truthfully, an 812 can do basically everything. It's an amazing car, sounds amazing. You can go on road trips with it. You can tear it around the city. It's fast. The way they built the car around the engine is incredible. No, none of this hybrid junk. 
and you only need it. I mean, it can do 90% of what a mid-engine sports car can do. On the road, you're never going to feel like it's a big, heavy car because you just simply don't get the chance to push it that hard. You'd have to go to a track. And then on a track, a 765 is the best. So if you have a 765 and an 812, you have cars done. Porsches are okay for certain scenarios, like, I don't know, you have to make sure you don't run out of uh, fuel while you're running from the police or something. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, Porsche, there's Porsche scenarios you can come up with in your brain. Lamborghini is good. My Evo, Huracan, you just flex around the city. You can't really do road trips in it because it's annoying because it's, it's too small. But and it's a little bit uncomfortable. But for dropping the top and flexing around the city, it's fun to show off for a couple hours. Like, they, you can find roles for them all, but the 765 and the 812 basically tick every box. So I bought this knowing I wouldn't need it or use it, but we're going to try should we leave homosexual mode and go into heterosexual mode? So we're in race, race, race. Set race. me up! Now let them set me up. Who is actually answering private calls? Hello? Like, bro, is, is no one trying to kill you? How unimportant are you, bro? What about enemies? Cops? Mafia? They're all after me. What do you mean? If I don't, your number is not on my phone. We don't have to talk. Send me a text. Something gay just happened. I went to grab the wheel and turn the wheel and accidentally with my thumb, because it's all touchtronic garbage, turned on the cruise control, which in and of itself is also a gay feature. It only uses cruise control along with the hybrid mode as a homosexual. So I, I never want cruise control ever. And the fact that I accidentally turned it on while turning the wheel has annoyed me. If that happens again, then I'm gonna have to give the car a very low rating. <laughs> if, you can't, if you can't grab the wheel without turning on functions, you have to be very careful all this is touchy people ask me why i buy cars i've never tested and that i probably won't like and i want to state this without arrogance me buying this car for six hundred thousand euro whatever it was it's the same as you buying a starbucks like why do you buy why would you go to the starbucks menu and just try a new coffee you never tried before because what's the worst that can happen right you don't like it oh well you've wasted a euro or two how much is even the coffee nowadays probably six or seven to be honest I always like to liken cars to women because it allows the people at home who can't afford these cars to understand it. The McLaren is a gorgeous 10 out of 10 woman who's on psychiatric meds. <laughs> but she's so beautiful and so fun in bed, but she's crazy. Sometimes she doesn't even answer the phone because she's in a psychotic episode. Sometimes you turn a McLaren on or you press the button, nothing happens. It just breaks down or nothing. And then you take it to the repairman and he goes, there's nothing wrong with it. It just started now. It, there's, it's just one of them. That's the McLaren. This is very capable, but sterile. Like, imagine you went to Switzerland, met a 39 year old woman who was really beautiful in her twenties, but now she's still kind of hot giving you an unenthusiastic hand job. <laughs> but she's good at it, but she kind of like, maybe you're paying her rent or something. I don't know. She's not that interested. It's, it's, it's sterile, but capable. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. And Porsches kind of feel like that. Porsches kind of feel like missionary sex with a school teacher. Very, you know, McLarens are completely wild. <laughs> Lamborghinis are like porn stars, whereas they look amazing and it, you'd probably think it would be better than it was. From the outside, you're like, whoa, but then you drive it. It's like, yeah, it's 80% of what you expect it to be, but it's not 100% of what you expect it to be when you drive a Lambo. Yeah. But yeah, this feels like a Porsche. It's very sterile, it's very linear. There's no jumps in the power. There's no not much drama. Even a few times when I lost grip there. It's four-wheel drive. It's very uh capable. It's capable, but it's 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 sterile. I don't know how else to say it. It's nothing like an 812. An 812, the Ferrari, you put your foot down, you have the engine, crazy noise, the back wheels are going all over the place. This is just like, yeah, we'll go forward if you want. You know? All the sexual references I gave. Or of course, hurrah, I'm a good man. I'm just talking from a previous life. 
I'm trying to make you people at home understand. But because it's so sterile, it doesn't feel like a thousand horses. Like the 800 horses you get in a 812 or a 765 feels a lot more because it's so wild. Mm. It's like the back's going everywhere, the power kicks in halfway through the gear. This is very linear, it's very smooth, so it doesn't really feel like a thousand horsepower to me. So maybe if you drive this psycho enough, it can stop feeling sterile. Maybe I'm sterile. Maybe it's all been me all along. Maybe in this relationship, she's not annoying. I'm the annoying one. Maybe I'm not acting right. Maybe it's all self-accountability. All the things I say in podcasts about absolute self-accountability at all times. Maybe it's all my fault. Maybe if I turn off all the traction control and all of the computer stuff, put it in pure death mode where we can spin into a circle and die in a fireball and then I drive as fast as I possibly can maybe it won't feel sterile anymore I am Batman no sound sorry sir keep recording your videos but Batman you don't hear me coming but I appear and the enemies suffer the ultimate consequence like Top G broadcast a symbol into the sky I'm starting to actually really like this car. Cruising around as Batman in, in, in electric mode. This is actually, a, I'm, I'm very surprised I like this car. I'm very surprised. If we can take off. how quick it is. Yeah, man. I thought the McLaren would be a million times faster, but... It's a, it's a thousand brake horsepower, G. I know, man, but... Yeah. It's fast. Yeah, you're supposed to drive, like, for 500 or 5,000 kilometers, and then you get a boyfriend, and then you go to a gay bar or something. I don't know. I just get in it and push it as hard as possible, and then it sounds smells like it's going to blow up, but if it blows up... Well, I can't go to warranty, because I just admitted on video why I did. <laughs> so then I just buy a new one. Bro, I'm rich, rich. I'm not some dork. I'm not like these other losers. I am rich, rich. Rich, rich. Millions and millions a week. Like, it doesn't matter. 600 grand. It's pennies. It's lunch. Who cares? Right, so, um... Yeah. It looks like the Batmobile, and it kind of feels like the Batmobile. So what I want to do is, we should do a drive pass. I'll do one drive pass in electric mode. Like, stealth. It won't be as fast, but it'll be quiet. And then I'll put it in max race qualify crazy mode and do another drive pass. That's what I think we should do. One day we're all gonna die. We're gonna return to dust in the ground. And when you walk past the place where I am buried, you need to hear me say, you're a brokey. <laughs> Red two SF90s. You know? Is that gonna be on your tombstone? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good for the universe. All right, so 140 kilometers, so like kilometers per hour is the most you can get in electric mode. But I guess that still breaks every speed limit in the rule in the world. The electric engine's like a party trick. But bro, you need the gears, you need the pain and suffering of the climate activists. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just stop oil! No! No, I will not. No. I am very pleasantly surprised. I expected it to be sterile and boring. And it kinda was. But then I realized it was all my fault. And maybe, you know, like when my ex-girlfriend said, Andrew, you're not innocent in this. It's not me. It's definitely 100% you. Maybe she was right. And maybe if you give away all your regards for your safety and you become a psycho, it's actually super fun and capable. And it has gimmicks, which keeps it interesting, like electric mode. And it feels pretty planted. It feels pretty good. It smells like it's on fire, but if it doesn't blow up, I guess we'll give it a pretty good mark for reliability. Yeah, eight and a half out of ten. McLaren, you have to have a ten. People say ten doesn't exist, but no, you have to have a benchmark. The real question is, would I ever buy this over an 812? And the answer to that is no. No way I'd buy this over an 812. That is real Romanian horsepower. We're talking about this having a thousand horsepower. My G. Two horsepower. <laughs> but you ain't got license, no insurance, no tax. Think about it. We're gonna do. Stop him. We're gonna take this horse. 
Mm -hmm. Impounder's horse? Nah, bro. Gee, I might buy one of them. I might beat Tristan at his own game. Thinks he's smart by me having 52 supercars and him only driving a lot of them. I'll up the game. How about I only drive one of them? Mm. I'll take that to the club. Do you know how many girls you'd get in that in the club? More than the Bugatti. You'd load that carriage up at the back with chicks. It'd be full of girls. Bro. Let me do it. Go I'm going to go bookshop. Don't be thinking. I'm not going to lie. All that making fun of them for hybrid. I'm actually starting to find use for the electric mode already. Like, if I'm not going to drive crazy fast, electric mode's fine. If you're going to cruise around, electric mode is totally fine. And then you can just recharge the battery, because I've recharged the battery in full a few times by driving like an idiot for five minutes. And then it completely basically recharges, literally after five minutes being an idiot. I'm not going to lie, if you're going to follow the car in front, which is what you do most of the time, no matter how crazy a driver you are, electric mode is actually fine. Think how much money I'll save on fuel. 